Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to do my weekly check-in for week four of July. Um, this will be for the 19th through the 25th. And not a lot happened, I'm just gonna start with that. I only have one grocery, one fuel, which I don't even track on my check-ins anymore. An extra debt payment, which paid off my Amazon credit card. That account is now closed. And then this miscellaneous for Ulta. And let's be real, I only have the miscellaneous category because I didn't want to have anything unbudgeted. In August, that is not the case. There is no miscellaneous. I started labeling it that and then I changed it to household. Um, there's no miscellaneous. It is unbudgeted. That's straight what it is. So... That is something that I did change moving forward, but let's see. So for groceries, I just had one for $60.85. Um, eating out, I have $1 left, $1. So I spent eight. Miscellaneous was $119.70 and nothing for business, which is great. Um, also in August, I've separated my business expenses out from my personal expenses. So you'll see my, um, business paydays, Etsy and stuff like that will be on my monthly spread, but I won't be putting any business transactions on here. If that makes any sense, it might not because why am I putting the income if I'm not putting the outgoing? And that's really just so that I have like a better idea of keeping track of it. Um, okay, so let's see. I need red. This one will still be at 250.17. This one will be negative 19.70. And it is stuff I needed, it's just not stuff I really like set money aside for to get. Um, this is one dollar. And let's see if it's negative 118.8 minus 6085. I'm trying to do this all wrong. Okay, so that is negative 179.65. And a big part of that is also just in case you're new or newer, um, I've been putting my groceries and household stuff together. Um, in August, I separated them so they won't be the same um but that is a decision i made moving forward to separate groceries from household because i'm always over budget due to one of the things um i stopped tracking fuel in july for my weekly check-ins but i think in august i might track it again because i've started doing grubhub i've started doing doordash again so i might track fuel and then also one of the things I need to add to my August to do is pay off the iPad. Um, my son has an iPad. We owe like $119 left for the payments. Um, his screen cracked. And... Um, for us to get insurance replacement was going to cost me $199. And I didn't feel like doing an insurance claim for an iPad should cost me more than what we owe on it. So we're going to pay that off. And then um, just so it doesn't get more broken, I will probably um, just upgrade it and then pay off the new tablet as soon, like as quick as possible. Um, but that's kind of my plan with that. Not that that has anything to do with this with, with this weekly check-in. But anyway, so here's where we're sitting. I did terrible this month. Terrible. Um, I am going to do... Let me find my planner. I am going to be doing a video regarding my budgeting and my budget goals, my financial goals, my debt stuff. Um sometime in the first week of August. So keep an eye out for that. 
And then I think on top of the weekly check-ins, I'm going to start doing like a goals check-in um, because this shows you what I've spent that I'm keeping track of. And then I think the goals check-in is going to show you how I'm doing on these four goals, these to-dos, um, these little self-care items, which are not self-care, but that's what we're labeling them as right now because um, that is how I'm going to take care of everything. So anyway, I'm going to end this here and I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye guys.